and then obviously same process up and up to the greens and then just two block pillars again ready so i'm all set up to take these the other side up to lintel height one sec and what we're doing is a lot of Good morning. It is Tuesday the 13th of March. Wednesday. Wednesday 13th of March. We didn't wait yesterday. Yes, it's the Wednesday the 13th of March. <laughs> well, we kind of did. Yeah. But um, today we are in work. This is what we were meant to be doing yesterday on the 12th. But um, we were supposed to get rained off. But we're here now. And what we're doing is a lot of blocking up. <laughs> Yeah, all the um, cladding's been stripped out. So they want to put block work up and render. So we're um, reducing the window sizes by a bit. These are window sizes. We've got to draw them with all our references. Um, concrete lintel in, because they have no um, no lintel drop inside to put the curtains on. The ceiling goes straight to the window, so they want drops so they can get curtains in. So there's our lintels. <coughs> now. We're thinking of maybe swapping two of them to 4B3s because we've got to get them, two of them up to there. Those. So, yeah, yeah. I think we'll uh, get some lighter ones because they're not, they're, all they're doing is... Just, again, to hang curtains on. Hang curtains on, yeah. They're so. not taking any weight whatsoever. So, um, we'll, get, we'll probably get them changed for something a bit easier. Maybe enlist some help with the, with the Robbies. Yeah, well, um, we'll swap them for 4B3s to the half to, yeah. half to weight. Isn't this being done too? Yeah, this is being done. Building this Both porch back up. Being built up, and there's a door going on it, and there's a pipe going over the front. I don't think there's any windows going in it. No, no windows in it. So solid, and a front door. Yeah. So this is being blocked up by like one block. Is it the same up, same upstairs, or? Um, <coughs> yes. And then that side's being reduced both sides. But yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. We're uh, taking the. Take the be soldier cores off. I've just got this side off now. The mortar's nice and crap, so it's uh, good for us. We'll uh, get set up and then we'll get cracking. See you on time lapse. So there we go, both of them are out and ready to get a mix in. And do you want to tell them how it works? Windows are, work windows are marked up, we've got reducing this by half. Like that. So that works a half block. So we're going to screw tie every course because it's only a small nib. Then that stain as it is. So when we get to lint light, we pocket that side, go straight onto this pillar. That side, we're coming in one block each side. It works perfectly one block each side. Yeah. The window, width, the window widths are a bit ridiculous. So they want a bit of wall at either side. Yeah, that is, uh, they're quite windows, aren't they? Very hard to get out, apparently. And then there's got this. There's windows in it, it's not solid. A little window each side. Single skin. There you go. And again, um, we don't we have to pocket this side because it's two full block yeah. each side. You've got your seating. And yeah, and... I think we've made the decision we are going to um, change the lintels for up there. See how, how high Robbie's scaffold gets, because Robbie's got a better scaffold than us. And we're going to put handrail on it when we're up there. There you go, so I'll get this mix in and Dad will um, maybe draw some holes for your uh... Yeah, uncover them blocks, so get a little bit around them. Yeah. We do a stacking in the trees as well, <coughs> so they can uh, sort of dry out. Well, uh, you can do that while I mix. <laughs> Mm, this one. 
Uh, one, two, three, four. Probably missed one about here. That's our finished height. I'll sort that out. My glamorous assistant to bring my hammer. Thank you very much. You are glamorous. I appreciate it. I'm not your assistant. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a self employed partner. That's true. It's, uh, it really is Steve and Alex build now. Yeah. Job's a good one. Thank you. I'll leave that there. So I've drilled all these for this. For the, the, the bluebirds are 8mm bits. Right. So, the, so all these are for here. I've just two for that side, so you'll be able to get two courses on before needs. So what what's gonna do is um if I make a start then I'll nip off and get some bluebirds. Yeah. I, I, I don't really I've not had a message off tool station yet, so I don't really want to go all the way to Holmeskirk if they're not ready. I could ring them up. So anyway, let's get cracking. Um I'll probably start as I am on the up up. May as well. <clears throat> Bit of some way of putting the, um, the board up high. We should have brought all the spot board stands, shouldn't we? But you live and learn. For now. Well, for now, you can just borrow both the spot board stands. I'll just put my spot board in some blocks. Okay. Nice idea. We've got a spare spot board as well. It's exactly what it is, it's an app on the on the Mac. So it's installed on the Mac. Well like so what I mean is like does it download off the SIM card in the GoPro? Yeah. You take, the, you take the SIM card in, plug it into the Mac, and the app downloads onto the app and then you just move it. Whereas the the, the DJI because it doesn't
since it's a cut at the top, we don't really need to pull this for gauge, do we? We just... No. Just try and keep to um, gauge though, because your beds are pretty tight then. Oh yeah. I, I, I like to I like to do five lights to nine inches, but because they're wet, let's keep them tight. Yeah. But I want nicer to set than thermal lights as well. Yeah. Thermal lights once they go down, that's it. Them lights are useless. Your cell phone's um, Gleason's, wasn't it? Pardon? Your cell phone's at Gleason's. Six footer, please. Right, we're just marking the porch out. That side's done. The, uh, we're reusing the windows and they're slightly different sizes. And we've got our lintel height, which is up there. And Alex points to it, there's lintel height. So we're measuring down from lintel height to get the bottom of the windows. So it, we've got the depth of the window plus the sill, because we've got a sill on them. Which means we have to take this course out. So we're just marking out where, where Alex is going to take these out. While he's doing this, I'm going to nip off and get some more screw ties. We've got some orders from Tool Station, but they're half an hour's drive there and back so we're going to go somewhere local and pick a few pick a handful of bluebirds up so we um, got that on it's the centre again same 5.35 the window is behind you Drink, well, mine, please. Oh, right. I'm alright for now, thank you. Four and five. Make it four ten. So two o five. That's right on the. So that's there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mark underneath. Four ten. Four ten. 
there. So we got the window set out, I'll just take out the bricks around it, then put the pieces in. And uh, that'll give um, that gives you cuts then. We measure them cuts. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, That one is that's a full block. Because the wind is slightly small that that's that's that works nice. And then that wherever that works. Yes. Move them out of the way. One sec. Right, hello, it is after break. I've been abandoned again. The usual trend of our jobs now. Um, he's gone to get the bluebirds. So what I have done for now, I have cut out the opening for the lintel to sit on. Double checked and measured, it was 1080. Let me check again. Just so we get some peace of mind on camera as well. There we go. 1080. And there's that part. That part just that part crumbled away because that's that's literally just sand cement as a decorative feature. But I've managed to stitch drill it and keep that half in because that they are concrete common, so they were solid. So I was able to stitch drill them out, as you can see my little scars from it there. And I've made it. I've done it. I've just done it a brick wide just to make sure it'll definitely fit in. But yeah, that's that done. Um, Dad's shown you before. We've got all this set up all that so we know where the windows are going we know what cuts we want so I will maybe work on some cuts now then I brought the, the cutter before dad abandoned me it's uh, trying its best to rain which is fine for the wall because we've got a roof cover in it and there's no wind so it's just vertical rain but it's not good for everything else is it so I've um, grabbed a dust sheet covered up all the uh, tools and such and um, yeah so I think first course of action will be I'll get this part patched up so I can lay some bricks on it, lay some blocks, sorry, and then um, maybe take these out so I know what I'm working with. And then I can start doing some cuts around that. But yeah, happy days. We'll catch you in a bit. Right, I'm back from my shopping trip and van clearing session. Alex has repaired the front of the porch. She's cut out this side, and we're all set up to take these the other side up to lintel height that's the priority get that's the lintel height so everything's at lintel height and then we can throw the lintels on the last thing tonight once the nice solid block work well not solid but gone off solid gone off block work um just gotta move my tray my spot boards over and my hop up and i can get cracking on the right hand side i'll set up for the left hand side um yeah that's the update so far Fiddly but done. That's us, lintel light. So we're going to go off for lunch now, let everything go off a little bit, and we can um, we can set trestles up now and get the lintels lifted on. We'll probably do this one next because that's had longer to go off. And as long as the weather's not too bad for us, we'll get the trestles up as high as we can and get at least two or three courses on top of that. So that's going off. Then um, hopefully get this this lintel late on late on late later on this afternoon. So um, screw tie in every course 
and then um, you've seen the screwdrivers you use from tool fix, tool fix, tool, tool station or screw fix, which is the nickel plated frame tires, which is just one piece of steel which we bend and put in. And there you go, there's the blue blades we used to use, which we don't use anymore. The reason being the welds sometimes pop. The main reason is 25 screw tires cost us 14 quid, 13 of these cost us 17 quid, so it's over double the price. And the other things are actually a solid piece of steel, so probably stronger job. Can't prove that, but that's what we think. So, um, yeah, have a quick dinner. I'll just cover these blocks up and then um, be back as soon as we can. Today we're talking about uh, traffic problems, getting caught up in that here. Yeah. Keep up the good work, he says. Matthew says, hi, Clark. Uh, I don't have a van. I use public transport. It's faster for me to get around in London uh, yeah. than it is by road. I'm looking into getting a van, but I have learned to downsize my tools, but I have ones that I can get to the job easily with uh, to get it done. Um, the only thing I have to say is, uh, as far as I knew, is if I need paint or I need materials, I get them delivered to the customer. Uh, but most of the time, I have most stuff in my bag and double stack the toolbox. Uh, and I don't know why, but I can't do the fix fan text. My phone not letting me. What a shame. Well, don't worry about that. We'll put it in. We'll drop you in, Matt. All right, for sure. Uh, that's pure maintenance. Matt from Pure Maintenance in London. Keep those messages coming in if you would be so blooming kind. Uh, here's... Oh, I hope that wasn't on filming. I thought it was time lapse in there. That was on for about 15 minutes. Probably longer. But anyway, as you can see, Alex's lintel is in place. Can you have a plug-in chisel, please, when you get a minute? Plug-in chisel? Oh, yeah. There's a bit of snot I need to get rid of. trusty plug and chisel that I found in a cavity once about 15 years ago still going strong but than anything you can buy nowadays ready so a couple of snaps to get off I've done his cuts for patching around the lintel marked his gauge up now he can just run in we're probably expecting to reach about five off there the Upstairs windows are a lot shallower, as you see, see that one next door, I think it's only about 800 deep, so quite a bit of block work to go in now. Um, I'm going to concentrate on this side of the porch while Alex does that bit, there's no point for both of us being up there. Um, yeah, I've done all my cuts, I've got enough cuts to get me up five courses, so pretty much up to lintel height. Um, all the cuts are done, just need to get a bit of mortar and crack on, and Alex is just going to run in now. He's going to need a couple of cuts because it doesn't work block, but once he's worked his bond out, I'll just drop on and get the, get the cuts done for him with our trusty saw. Um, away. That's it. I'll stick you on in for a bit.
There we go. That's uh, progress for today. That's uh, not bad, considering the weather forecast. Yeah, we have had pretty nasty rain today, which hasn't shown on camera because we were waiting out in the van. But there we go. Porch, five courses from Lintel. That Lintel in. Lovely. Mm. That is not bad, especially all things considered. We had um, pretty nasty rain throughout the day, like just the middle of the day, like, early, like late morning to like probably two o'clock nearly. It was just horrible rain for for ages, but we managed to push through because thankfully most of the block work is actually under cover. It's just us and everything around us that wasn't covered up, but the walls were fine. But there we go. So there's the reduced window with five courses above it. So that's ready for the next scaffold lift. Al, if you just point out, if, if you can, I looked, I thought it looked odd then. If you compare it to next doors, it's a lot lower than next doors window, and that's what we were saying before about the house. The ceiling goes direct to the window, so there's no lintel there to hang put curtain poles on and stuff. Yeah. So that's why the lintel's been put in and the window's been reduced, so that they can put actual put proper curtains and blinds across. That's why the window is smaller than next door. And that's why upstairs will be the same. I think the bottom will be lower, but the top will be lower too. So this, you've got the. Well, if anyone has a problem, if anyone has a problem that the lintel's lower, they should consult the customers. It's their choice. Yeah, it's, it's on the plans. The lintel goes where it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. It's a design change, so. So that window, yeah, windows reduced, pill uh, lintels on top, and then. So once we get up to the. Past the green part, it'll be that just that again a pillar, a little uh, pocket, and then a lintel. And then on this side, obviously, we've got dad's uh, nice work with the block work on the porch, so there's where the window's going. And there's no lintels going there, it's just going to be the wall plate straight away for the windows. And then there you go, there's that reduced window too, reduced in that both way by those blocks. The two, That was a 2.4 lintel actually, and it sat on, still sat on. And then obviously same process up to, up to the greens and then just two block pillars again and no pocket needed for this side because obviously the bottom windows are 1080 deep the top ones are only 850. Oh, are they? Yeah, or shallow. Well there you go so tomorrow's plan is just the same as today just swapped over I'll get that I'll get that up dad will get that up and then I take it after we've done that are we gonna See if we can swap them lintels. Swap the lintels and sort of scaffold them. Yeah, so the lintels, we're swapping them because they do not need to be that thick for up there. They're bearing like a piece of a block and they're very heavy. So we're going to make it easy and safer for ourselves by getting thinner lintels. Because they're, they're not they're, they're not holding anything above them. They're just there to reduce the size of the window. Yeah. So they don't have to be a 6 before. It's 4 by 3 bit of block work over the top is fine. Yep. There you go. So we will catch you tomorrow for ne next part. Yeah.